Toyota Hybrid. This is one of the greatest examples uh, what we already stated that their battery packs usually degrade almost 50% at 150,000 kilometers. Okay, it depends if you're driving it uh, every day on, on, on a flat surface or a country there is a lot of hills. It depends how many times battery overheated because the cooling system is really, really stone age design. It's air cooled and usually the middle cells in the middle of the battery pack overheat. What we do in our process, we usually measure all the cells individually. We don't use any machines. We have manual tools. We have manual discharge where we, dis where we diagnose what is the real capacity of the, each cell. Those cells are uh, made of six individual cells and only every six, sixth cell is balanced. That means the cells in the middle are not balanced and not monitored by any wire, sense wiring. They come new with uh, six, almost, I think around six amp hours. And right now you can see on the first one we have, we have five amp hours because it is, it is the closest one to the cooling system. This confirms that the cooling system is so bad that it degrades <laughs> cells, uh, let's say in four or five years, almost 88%, but I will, I will explain later. And you can see each cell, what is the capacity, and this one is 0 0.86, completely dead cell. It is almost in the middle here. And what we calculated, that state of health of this battery pack at 250,000 kilometers is only 12%. That means 88% of degradation he has on 250,000 kilometers. Okay, I understand. This is not science fiction. This is not uh, any uh, technologically advanced battery pack. This is the one of the worst battery packs with the worst cooling system and all of them suffer from overheating and all let's say high deg degradation on the middle cells where we need to change almost I think almost to 12 14 I think 14 cells on this one and when we measure all the cells individually this is cell number two we, we, we missed to measure the first one uh, we first make the regeneration of the cell that means what let's say Chinese and some other uh, companies is are selling automated devices to charge and discharge cell few times and they say it's a uh, regeneration of the cell but in reality the, uh, the device is only charging and discharging the cell the problem is that you don't see the degradation curve this is the most important if you see the S curve that means that the cell is healthy and those examples of the cells, we can see they're almost all of them healthy when we hit the middle of the battery pack. You see the edge, slipping edge on the bottom charge. That means that one cell died before other five were still discharging. This is what triggers error code on, the, on, on uh, Auris, uh, Prius. And this means all of the middle cells are completely destroyed. That means you cannot save those cells even with repeated regeneration. What we already encountered that if we try to save all the cells, even if they have, let's say, 21, let's say 21 has 3 amp hours, this is 50% of degradation. That doesn't mean we can save it because there is one cell in the module, let's say here, uh, it's pro pro probably completely dead and you cannot change it and you must change complete module to save the pack and in this example we have 16, 14, I don't know, I need to check it but we have a lot of completely damaged cells for changing that means we cannot save all of them and what I already stated that we see it every day. You can see we have almost every week we have two or three different battery packs on the refurbished process. Uh, those battery packs cannot hold 
above 150,000 kilometers uh, without 50% of degradation. That means even your fuel saving is not one, at 100%. That means uh, that's, that the purpose of the hybrid system is not at 100%. You are you have placebo, you are thinking that you are saving the fuel and maybe a board computer is telling you that you are saving but in reality you are not. Uh, we will now disassemble this battery pack. We will extract those cells. We cannot recycle them in the second purpose. We will need to recycle them into raw materials. That means we need to send it to Germany. And we will reuse this pack to save at least one battery pack. I owned already one Toyota, which I returned when it was new because the fuel saving was not of, uh, four liters, it was almost eight in the town, and I decided to go with Tesla. So I am convinced in today, doing all these repairs, that I think the fuel saving is only placebo on this one. Only saving the Toyota story and hybrid story is that they sell those battery packs really cheaply. It's uh, around 2,200 euros, a uh, new one, and uh, you drive again 150,000 kilometers, and uh, there is no other suppliers of those cells, only Toyota, so you cannot put, put any, nothing else. Maybe to prevent overheating issues, it's very good to clean the vent we noticed that on some cars it was really dirty and in some cases it, it, it was the main cause of the problem. So Toyota guys, uh, clean your vent and don't state that those battery packs can hold about 200,000 kilometers because they don't. And maybe your DTC lamp is, didn't turn on, that means there is no alert code. But that doesn't mean that your battery pack is completely healthy. Because what, I, what we see here, that alert code is not triggered even when it was 70% of degradation. That means that this system has some, of, some kind of, uh, let's say, DTC off system, preventing system to report the alert code. So you, st you, so you keep driving until you completely destroy the cells. See you.